Functioning as both a painting and a print, a monotype is unique and non-reproducible. They are unpredictable and usually very spontaneous, so the process is great for experimenting and exploring. The hoopla over monotype can be experienced in your classroom using a safe, simplified, water-based process that I'd love to share with you today. I'm going to walk you through this particular image, but you can have your students create their own unique designs. I have a square piece of muslin and a foam dinner plate. The foam plate will be used as our printing plate and will also keep everything contained and tidy. I also have some Blick Studio Acrylic Colors. These are the perfect consistency for this particular process. Not too thick, not too thin. I'm going to begin by making some registration marks. This way I can align my print each time. A hatch mark on each side and two on the bottom, and we'll set that aside. Beginning with the lightest colors first, we'll paint the background of the monotype. Paint directly onto the foam plate, especially when you're painting broad areas. You can add a little bit of water to make the paint flow a bit more freely. It's important to remember that what you paint on the plate will print in reverse. Paint some distant hills. Now I'm going to take a modeling tool and I'm going to pull back the paint in some areas. This will print as white on my first print and will reveal colors beneath in subsequent prints. Align the registration marks and with firm, even pressure to the back side, make your first print. You can see some of the paint bleeds through the muslin, so it's best to use a paper towel to protect your fingers. And there's the background. Now, for the middle layer, we're going to use the same plate. Don't clean it off. The paint that remains on the back can be used as a guideline for the next layer of printing. To start, we're going to put in some quick leaves here in the tree. And then paint the grassy area underneath the tree. I'm using some mid-tones here. Once again, take a modeling tool. I'm going to create some quick blades of grass beneath here. And then I'm going to bring back a few highlight areas up here in the leaves. Back to the muslin. And make our second print. Here's the middle ground. Okay, now I've saved the darkest colors for last in the foreground. Dark colors overprint everything, and nothing overprints them very well. So it's really best to save them for the last. We'll do a very quick tree trunk and a few branches at the top. You notice that I'm working very quickly because acrylic paint does dry very quickly. That helps keep it spontaneous. Now I'm going to use a wooden tool and I'm going to create some bark-like texture in the tree trunk and up through the branches.
And now the final print. There we have it. In just three easy steps, we have a complete monotype landscape. However, you can use as many layers as you'd like. An embroidery hoop may be glued to the front or to the back of the print after the paint is completely dried. You can also put two prints together on a hoop and hang it together as a two-sided piece. For step-by-step -step instructions and ideas for optional embellishments and display, please visit dickblick.com backslash lesson plans.